guys, Dean Alamanovic here. I'm back with another two video. I'm here with my coach, Billy Q. Um, we're doing an MMA striking workout. I'm still a beginner, but I'm learning a lot every day. He's been coaching me for the past two months and I've learned a lot. So it's a pleasure to be here with him and I can't wait to learn. So Billy, tell him a little bit about yourself. Cool. Yeah, uh, thanks for having me, man. I appreciate it. Uh, uh, you know, Dino reached out to me, wanted to do a private lesson. That's what we do here at Gracie Tampa South. Uh, I'm a 2 0 UFC fighter with a uh, overall record of 14 and 2. Um, I've been teaching the striking here for about six years and I've been training here for almost 11 years now. Um, so today we're just going to do a basic private lesson. Uh, striking, we're going for some basics. Um, this stuff all works for me in MMA, it works for Muay Thai, um, and it works really well with self defense. So, this is going to start, we're going to basically start off with our self defense stance. Uh, start really, really basic and then kind of go uh, as, as we go on. Okay? All so, right. Cool. You're right handed, right? Yeah, I'm right. Right handed. Okay, so we're going to start off with our basic stance. Dino knows it a little bit, and we're going to kind of just dig in. I'm going to nitpick at it a little bit. All right, okay? cool. So, let's start with our stance. So, we're in our stance like this. I'm going to start basically, we're both right handed. So, we're going to start shoulder width apart. We're going to bring our right foot back. We're gonna bend our knees, and the whole time I do these workouts, I try to be nice and relaxed. You know, try to try to relax my shoulders, relax my arms. If you're too tense, uh, it's gonna feel like you're forcing everything. And I like to relax. And I feel like that's that's what really makes you flow. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're like this. We're in solid stance. Here, like this. Hands up, chin down. If you notice, you can look down and make a nice square right there. Nice little square stance. It's gonna be a good boxing stance, good MMA stance. If I um, if I need it for self defense, I'm gonna end up in this stance. And you know, just you know, kind of assert the situation. Okay. okay. All right. So we're like this. Our movement now. So it's, our movement's going to be way different from uh, what, what we're normally doing. Instead of walking one foot in front of the other, we're going to basically keep this stance, and we're going to kind of move and keep this square stance. Um, a way to remember it is whatever direction I'm going in, the foot that's closest is going to move first. Okay. So let's try to move around and keep this stance. So we start off. We move forward. So we just take a little step here forward. Keep that stance. Then I go to my left. Touch, touch. Then I go to my right. Touch, touch. Nice. Now let's just take about 20, 30 seconds to kind of move around, okay, just on your own. So we're like this, we're gonna move around, our hands are up, keep that good solid stance. It takes a long time to get used to, since we're so used to going one foot in front of the other, okay? So you're like this, hands are up, remember, shoulders are nice and loose. Let's kind of get used to keep our, our arms in tight, and our hands can kind of go up, or to kind of stay the same, but they're, they're protecting me at all times. All right. So we're like this, kind of just moving around, almost like a video game, just kind of getting the buttons down. Here like this. Here, look. It's all right, it's pretty good. All right, so shake the arms out. Let's go over a few of the punches. Let's just start with punches one, two, and three to go over on camera. I know you know the other ones too, but we're gonna focus on punches one, two, and three. Okay, so we're in our stance here. Now we're not gonna move around as much. Keep this stance. Our hands come up here, and again, it's nice and relaxed. Shoulders are nice and relaxed. We're gonna start with our one punch, and being right handed fighters, that's gonna be our jab or our lead left hand. Okay, so we're here like this. The right hand stays nice and high like this. The right hand, or the, the straight jab goes straight out. Turns the hand over and goes right back. Notice the whole time we're keeping our hands up. So we're like this. Just practice that jab. Feel like this. Turning the shoulders. Elbow goes straight from underneath. Out. I'm going to take a tiny little step. It's going to be my jab step. I'm going to make sure my right hand stays up and my arm's nice and straight. That's protecting my body. So we're like this. One. And right back. One. And right back. I can use this for a really long range weapon. Like stick it out far and back. Or I say nice and close, boom. And of course, that's gonna set up our other punches as well. Okay? So this is one. One. I'll start moving around a little bit and just popping that jab. This isn't necessarily a knockout punch, it's more of a setup punch. So we're like this, we set it up, and it's gonna to lead to our little other punches. You will see in some, some fights, I remember uh, Cowboy Cerrone dropped someone, I think it was Edson Barbosa. He dropped him with a jab, they're moving around, he's like, hey, make sure you breathe the whole time. Hands up, chin down. Look at that defensive going here. Two punch with the same thing. Turn the shoulders this way. You know, keep your eyes on your opponent's chest. I like to, I like to wear things like her. Keep your 
your eyes from your chest, slip to the outside, and you're basically over your hip, and if you think about it, you're loading up on that line. Okay, I go this one, go to the outside, just like that. Now keep an eye on you. Again, load up, try to turn through. Alright, back here. Slip. Make sure try to lean a little forward. If I'm way back here, I don't want to have to slip back here. I want to be moving a little forward so I can move that pace. Yeah, exactly. Hands up, chin down. Keep the chin down just in case you do go the wrong way and you get hit. It's all good. Alright. So I'm going to this one first. are good when it's like a straight punch. It's like a one punch or a two punch. And they're here or here. We're not able to at least to slip to the outside or slip to the outside. Now if you were to throw a three or a four punch, it's not going to hook. If I slip, it really is not going to make a difference. It's still going to be able to lay a knot. Okay? So for the three and the four, sometimes what I could do is actually duck under it like this. Okay? So a common combo that would work is a slip, slip, duck. Where I would slip the one, slip the two, and duck under the three. So that would look like this. Slipping the one, slip the two, ducking under the thumb. I keep that sandstool punch, and I make sure I don't bend at the waist because I don't want to get knee in the face. So I stay over my hips, slip, slip, and I duck them. And I'm already ready to throw off it. Okay, so let's try that. Slip, slip, duck. So slip the one, yep, slip the two, and duck under the hips. Actually, like, when we're ducking under that hook, watch how my feet, I'm going to kind of step out. So I slip the one, slip the two, now watch my foot. I go, tap, tap. So I end up cutting at an angle. So now when I end up over here, I'm in a really good spot for, for my offense action. Nice. I'll just throw a two punch off the edge. There it is. Remember, cut that angle. If you notice on the angle, you watch the feet on this one. He's going to start off on the tracks where he ends up right off to the side. He's going to have a really good angle off. So we're here. Alright, so let's start with actually let's do our right hand. So start with our right hand. I'm gonna put my thumb in here. 
And again, this is how I personally like to do it. Uh, everyone's different, everyone likes it a little bit different. This is how what works for me. Okay, so I'm gonna go over here like this, and this is gonna be down like this. It's gonna go across my hand, kind of snug right there on my wrist, okay? So we're gonna go around once. Pretty snug, not like this super, way, super right? tight. I'm gonna come here like this. I'm gonna kick it over the top. Notice how it's going over my hand, towards my pinky. I'm gonna bring it around like this. Okay. Yep. And now it's gonna basically be around my hand like this. Bring it through. I'm gonna go over my knuckles. I'm gonna keep it nice and high right here. Okay? Bring that around probably maybe three or four times. One, nice and snug. Remember, it's nice and snug. My fingers are open. If you do it with your fingers closed like this, it's gonna be as far as your fingers are gonna go. I wanna keep it open like this. Okay. Okay. Like this, you have a little bit higher here like this. Probably a little bit looser. There you go. Okay. All right, so that's two, three, four times three. Now I'm gonna kick it back down. Here like this, make sure it's nice and loose. Kick it back down here, over the top. Bring it around the wrist once. Nice and snug. Okay. So I'm here like this. Now I'm gonna go underneath the thumb. I'm gonna kick it up over on the hand side, the top of the hand, in between the pinky and the index finger. Here like this. And now notice how this is high. Um, the reason I like having this high here is because now it's gonna cut down and it's not gonna cut into my fingers. Okay. So we go here, then we go to the second one. Notice I'm keeping it nice and straight. Nice and straight here. Nice and snug. Go like this. And these are 180 inch hand wraps. Go like this. Go like this. I do like the bigger ones. Go like this. Now we're gonna down here like this. We have to do all three. Cut it around the wrist again. We do the thumb, my bad. Yeah, uh, not yet though, not yet. I will do, we will do the thumb, not yet though. So I do here like this, I go behind, behind this. Okay. I'm gonna kick it back up towards the pinky. I'm gonna bring it around just one time, nice and snug here. Right over the knuckles, like this, yeah. Then I'm gonna come down here, bring it back over across the top. Here, back here. I'm gonna bring it over once over the thumb. Here like this, straight up and down. So we're like this, so again, over the thumb, we're like this, nice and snug, bring it down here, bring it around the wrist, should be right at the end, we're trying to spread this out a little bit, nice and snug, we're like this, should be good to go. Make a fist, how's that feel? That feels good, pretty good. Yeah.
Alright, what's up guys? That's the workout. I appreciate you doing the cue here. We're doing an MMA striking workout. It was pretty good. I did some basics. I've been doing this for two months, but he's still showing me I still got a lot to work on. So we're definitely gonna follow up with this, do a part two eventually. So what do you guys say about that? What do I gotta work on? <laughs> that was it, man. Um, you know, he's just getting started. He's got two months in, um, but uh, if he sticks with it, he's got all the right tools. So uh, next time you see him, he'll be much sharper, better improved. And uh, you know, we're both gonna make it to the top.